What's going on guys? Just got a new motor. It's 25 horsepower, 1995 Mercury Marina. Hopefully do a little jigging today, but just want to come out and test it out real quick. I always got a little bit of time to fish, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. I don't live too far from the water, so that's why I can hurry and try, try something out real quick. But I think the tide's going out, plus wind's coming to me. Dirty water, as you can see. <laughs> Story of my life. See, so yeah, let's try a little crankbait action. action. I should get a different color out. If you're running the bait like this, you want to run it. You want your boat going into the current because those bait fish are not going to be swimming into the current. So throwing your bait out, the fish going to be coming with the current or with the wind. It's definitely a good way to catch them. Might change this color up. This might be for a little. I mean, you got. I got about a foot visibility. change the color up. I don't know if you guys can see. Like I said, I got about a foot visibility. Just because the water so so dirty. Real close to the bank. Good gracious, bro. He does not want to be caught. <laughs> I tell you, he was on everything in the world not to be caught. <laughs> not bad. Solid two. I was from the shoreline, not too bad to fish with a crankbait. Oh, you, get up in here with that? oh yeah. All right, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to call it. Right. Right, Take care. Good luck. Right off the shoreline for sure. Again, this crankbait and this dirty water. Striking crankbait, seven foot medium heavy action rod, 12 pound fluorocarbon line. Of course, I like my clips. Makes it easy to change in and change out. Just searching for them, <laughs> really. But I really want to catch one on the jig, man. There's some wood there. Jig and wood. Jig wood. Wood jig. Skipping a little too far, a little too fast. <laughs> That's what happens. Now it'd be great if I caught a fish after this. That'd be cool. For all my hard work and dedication. Oh, that, that would have been great right there. Apparently the jig wasn't working. Either did a uh, creature bait. I haven't tried my finesse for him yet, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm about to use a underspin. A little Kitek on the back. See if we can get some. And she gotta be straight as possible. Okay. Well, as straight as you can get it. A little off, but
That's a good fish, baby. Oh, this is a fight of a lifetime, baby. Good gracious. On the underspin. Off that little point straight ahead in front of me, actually. Right there. I kind of swam it up under this uh, little overhang limb here. She might touch three. A little stronger than that last one. But, I mean, it's tough right now. It's been a struggle today, but finally came across a halfway decent one. Like I said, she might touch three, but good old underspin. This is just a little Kytec. Has a screw in head here. That's all it was. I'm trying to try to hold on to this. <laughs> so we'll see if it'll catch another one. Uh, this is a seven foot medium heavy action rod, ENT Sport, uh, casking seven, I think seven to one or seven zero ratio. Yeah, seven zero gear ratio. Uh, this is a 20 pound braid line. The only reason I, only reason I chose this 20 pound braid line where I'm in muddy water, they can't necessarily see the line in the uh, in the first place. But I got a heavy I got a heavy hook here. I want to have something that can definitely set that hook when you know when the time is right. I actually need to get inside. <laughs> I didn't bring any uh bring any night gear stuff. Oh, she took my entire bait. This might have been dealio today, man. Well, it took me all day to find out. Well, like I guess I only had a couple hours. Kytec, it's four inch. Took my bait. I'll show you real quick how I rigged that. Like I said, you just screw on this little onto the head there. Nice and beautiful like. Once she rotates back down, you kind of line her up. Just kind of line her up just like that. Try to keep a straight line. Good to go. All right, well guys, that's it for me today. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys, go ahead and hit that like button for me if you like the video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more fishing. We're losing daylight quick because of the fall, man. But that's okay. We're going to keep fishing. I started getting out early in the morning. Of course, if the wife lets, lets me. <laughs> but again, I appreciate you guys watching. Guys, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.